Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an ASUS VivoBook 16. This is the X1605 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here, two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do. But you're going to take it and go around the outside edge, the seam, between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it. Go to the other edge and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a quick side point with computer repair, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model of VivoBook. Now, one thing I do before touching anything in a computer, guys, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're gonna slide that metal part up to free this up and then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Now that your battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your solid state drive right here. You have a single M.2 port right there, kind of at a little crooked weird angle underneath your fan, and it screws into the case right here. So you would undo that single screw, it would free up your solid state drive, then you can pull it out of this M.2 port here. The Gen 3 or Gen 4 solid state drives are supported in this computer. And I think stock, most of you will have a one terabyte solid state drive. So below in the description in that link with all the upgrade and replacement parts for this computer, uh, I'll try to have a one terabyte and a two terabyte upgrade option for both Gen 3 and Gen 4 solid state drives for you guys to choose. And as a last side note with this type of replacement, when you do install a new solid state drive, you're going to have to install an operating system onto that in order to use your computer. So below in the description, I will also have two video links. One will show you how to install Windows 10, and one will show you how to install Windows 11, depending on which one you guys want to do. But that is how you would access your solid state drive in a VivoBook 16. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.